Good morning. This is day nine. I sat down and wept and mourned for many days. I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 4. Your heart written by Anne Satus. I loved Malcolm's prayer at church the other day. Only seven years old, he stood in front of 100 other children and prayed this. Jesus, thank you that some of us get to play football and go to church and for safety on the ride here and for forgiveness of our sins and for eternal life. We love you, Jesus. Please don't ever forget how much we love you. Amen. It brought tears to my eyes as he expressed his heart to God. As adults, we may tend to try to polish our prayers a little, thinking that it will sound better to God's ears or to those around us who might hear us. But I think God must delight in hearing just what is on his child's heart. Nehemiah's heart was filled with concern for the welfare of Jerusalem, his homeland, when he heard that the people were in great distress and that the wall around the city was broken down. Wanting to do something, he talked to God about it. He praised God for who he is. He requested forgiveness for sin. He reminded God of his promise. He asked for mercy from the king. God watched over Nehemiah and his people through the whole rebuilding process. What is on your mind? Thanks or burdens? Whatever it is, your loving Father wants to hear your heart. So lift up your heart to the heavens. There's a loving and kind Father there who offers release and comfort and peace in the silent communion of your prayer. A quote this morning reads, The highest form of prayer comes from the depths of a humble heart. End quote.